Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In one of my previous videos, I discussed the slope-intercept form of a linear equation. If you haven't seen that already, I would highly recommend that you go watch it and then come back. I've left a link in the description below. In today's video, I'm going to introduce another way to write a linear equation, and it's called the standard form. The standard form of a line takes on this format, where a, b, and c are integer constants, and a in particular is positive. Now, this is very helpful because it lets us easily find the x and y intercepts. If I want to find the x-intercept, all I have to do is plug in y equals 0. If I make y equal to 0, then this whole term goes away. And I'm left with ax equals c. Now, if I want to find x, all I have to do is divide both sides by a, and that tells me that my x-intercept is c over a. I can do the same thing for the y-intercept. All I have to do is plug in 0 for x, and what that does is it removes this whole term. So with that gone, I can divide by b, and that gives me a y-intercept of c over b. Now let's take a look at a few examples. Let's say that you're given this linear equation in slope-intercept form. First, let's put it into standard form. To do that, all we need to do is move this x term over here to the left-hand side with the y term. If we do that, we get 3x plus y is equal to negative 4. Now that we have the standard form of the linear equation, we can find its intercepts. Let's find the x-intercept first. All I have to do is plug in 0 for the value of y. Doing that gets rid of this whole term. And that leaves me with 3x equals negative 4. Now if I want to solve for x, all I have to do is divide by 3 on both sides, and that gives me x equals negative 4 thirds. That's the x-intercept, and in ordered pair form, it would be negative 4 thirds, comma, 0. Now let's find the y-intercept. To do that, all I need to do is plug in 0 for x, and if I do that, it gets rid of this whole term, leaving me with y equals negative 4. So that automatically gives me my y-intercept. In ordered pair form, that's going to look something like this. 0, negative 4. That's the y-intercept. Now, that covers the basics of standard form. Let's get deeper into this topic. So here, I have another example that I want you to try solving first. I've given you the ordered pairs 6, 5, and negative 2, negative 7. Given these ordered pairs, find the standard form of the line. Once again, if you haven't seen my previous videos, I'll have them linked below so that you can watch them before attempting this problem. Okay, so by now, I assume you've paused the video and solved this question. Let's find the answer together. First, we want to find the slope of this line. To do that, all we need to use is this formula right here. Now, I've already covered this in a previous video, so go ahead and watch that first. To find the slope, I'm going to make this x1 and y1, and this one x2 and y2. So doing that gives me negative 7 minus 5 in the numerator, and in the denominator, it gives me negative 2 minus 6. The top part is negative 12, and the bottom part is negative 8. The negatives cancel out, so that leaves me with 12 over 8, which can be simplified to 3 over 2. So my slope is 3 over 2. Notice that it's a fraction. Now, if we were writing our linear equation in slope-intercept form, so far we would have y equals 3 over 2 times x and then a plus b. And we would try to figure out the plus b. We can do this really quickly by simply plugging in a ordered pair. So I'll use 6, 5. If x is equal to 6, then I have 3 halves times 6 plus b, and it's equal to y, which in this case is 5. 3 halves times 6 is equal to 9, because the 2 gets cancelled out, and we're left with 3 times 3. So then we have 9 plus b. To solve for b, all we need to do is subtract 9 from both sides. 
so b is equal to 5 minus 9. We can rewrite that because we know that 5 minus 9 is equal to negative 4. So b is equal to negative 4. Now that we know that, we can plug that into our slope-intercept form. So here it is. Our slope-intercept form of this linear equation is equal to y equals 3 over 2 times x minus 4. To convert this to standard form, we need to first move the x term to the left-hand side with the y term so that it's away from the constant. Let's go ahead and do that now. Remember, it becomes negative because we subtracted it from both sides. Now, remember when I told you that a, b, and c are all constant integers, and a, in particular, has to be positive. Here, a is both negative and it's a fraction, so we need to do something to cancel out both of those problems. We can multiply both sides by negative 2. That'll cancel out the negative, and it'll get rid of the 2 in the denominator of the fraction. So let's go ahead and do that. If I multiply by negative 2, I have to do it to both sides of the equation. So I have the left hand side and I have the right hand side. For the left hand side, we have to use the FOIL method. So I'm going to multiply the negative 2 with the x term and with the y term. For the x term, the negatives go away and the fraction goes away. So I'm left with 3x. For the y term, the positive and negative results in a negative, and 2 times y is 2y. Then for the right-hand side, I simply have negative 2 times negative 4. The negatives go away, and 2 times 4 is 8. So this is our final standard form of the linear equation. 3x minus 2y equals 8. This is the final answer to the question. Thank you for watching.